Infinite City Culture Quota Theater Presence. Your universe is weird. Welcome, viewer, to the first episode of Your Universe is Weird! Exclamation point. My name is Redacted Redacted. And I am assigned pseudonym. And believe it or not, we are actually from your universe. See, my friend here and I were actually just whisked away one day during a remarkably intense psychedelic experience which, by all evidence, appears not yet to have ended, or perhaps simply even to have been real, as we now find ourselves refugee residents of the hyperdimensional megaplex known locally as Infinite City. This is definitely real. We've been here for weeks. Sure, we had just done those gnome drugs, but whatever brought us here, I don't know. This is not a continued hallucination. We're definitely here. In the Infinite City, we have paperwork. Nothing to do but make the best of it. And on that note, after much bureaucratic wrangling, we've finally gotten our own show on Infinite City's local access human channel. Triple Z. Which, thanks to our friend Larry's transdimensional lens, we are actually able to transmit into our own long-lost home dimension, yours. And so now that we've got this show and the ability to transmit to our home dimension, we wanted to try to do two things. Maybe somehow reach out and connect to anyone back in our world who might want to know that we're okay. You know, that sort of thing. But also, like, describe our experiences and share some crazy reality with the goofy backwater that we now know our universe is. We are still figuring out quite how this trans-dimensional lens thing is supposed to work, so from what I can tell, there may be sometimes issues with bending our signal through some pretty strange universes in order to get to yours. So do please forgive intrusions of things like... Undead content, for example, that sort of thing. You avoid sponsored content. There's a lot of weird stuff here that's taking a time to get used to. Anyway, thanks again for tuning into our show. Bear with us, and we'll explore living in Infinite City. Unfortunately, it's already time for commercials. Oh, I didn't see you there. Are you alone and dead tonight? Get right on your phone and call our undead love line now. Literally hundreds of billions of dead or undead beings are waiting in various planes to connect with you, right, now. Some of them are pressing their faces right up against the gossamer veil separating you from them. As we speak. Call now. Tell other dead folk your deepest, darkest secrets. Connect with undead who live amongst the living. We've got every direction of communication for dead and undead beings like yourself. Alien, unfathomable, heavens and hells. What are you waiting for? They are waiting for you. And they can wait forever. Immortality begins with Icar. Icar's newest hemoglobin replacement therapy is now available as a mortality remedy for humans and humanoids. Icar. Get warm inside with Ecker. Hey girl, I almost didn't see you there, but I'm glad you're here. Do you like Paisley? Like, maybe a little bit too much? I understand. I like Paisley more than anyone whose appreciation of Paisley has been measured, and that's probably more people than you'd guess. It's why I've been called a Paisley Prince. And what I want to say to you is this, come on down to Paisley Paradise. Everyone who's been telling you not to, they're just trying to mess with you. Your best future requires you to fulfill your desire to come to Paisley Paradise. I'll be there. Have you, or a loved one, been in your by the accident of existence? When you get lost in the postmodern doldrums of immortality, you have problems. Inarticulable problems, inscrutable problems. Ennui. Well, your ennui is on me. I'm transdimensional attorney Florid Flomboys, and your problems are now officially my problems. Now give me my shit. 
with the close assistance of my associates, Bent Hal Weebelbaum, Hembry McShade, Final Exchequer, Ormo or Munmo, Rankledy Spinner of Wires, Gizus Grinch, Gizus Ashler Favor, and Bayou Gentle Creature Recent. We will get you results, or we'll rewrite the time we spent together so that you'll never know it happened. Imagine a world into which you do not have any choice but to find yourself. A world of pure sensory experience and no answers. A world of existentialism. Be forced by the very nature of existence itself to try existentialism. It's the only option. Experience the abandonment, the thrownness of being unable not to try existentialism. Call now. Call out with your feelings. Operators are standing by. Try Nutrient Slurry. It's free. Now available in Southwestern. Cajun. Home style. And now, brought to you by that which is alive within the slurry. A sneak peek at this cycle's episode of Fomalhaut Microbiome. So, Malcolm, you did call maintenance about the lightning coming from the supercomputer, right? I called them last time. I called them. They said to not worry about it. They told us, don't worry about it. Oh, brother. I guess I'll get my rubber suit out again. Fomalhaut Microbiome and Supercomputer, immediately following Drain Commissioner. Channel ZZZ. Content for humans. Content intended for human consumption, which is to say, to be consumed by humans, not to be confused with human consumption content, also known as human content, or content about the consumption of humans, which can be found on Channel H. Phantoms, phantasms, poltergeists, specters, and will o the wisps They're all here, or are they? Are you really seeing what your eyes behold? What sort of torment or limbo might be in store for us? Ask yourself if there is any answer to the question of the mystery of your own life. Glow-in-the-dark poltergeist action figure playsets, each sold separately. By hell, bro. Welcome back to Your Universe is Weird. So for those watching from our home dimension, who might not be accustomed to trans-dimensional media, even and especially the public access channel here, thing is, you're going to get a lot of commercials. <laughs> yeah. So like, you know, we apologize for that. We should probably touch on why we're making this show and what we want to do with it. See, we're here in Infinite City, and whether we tripped here psychedelically or were abducted or escorted or whatever during our psychedelic trance, we're here and not there anymore. And by there, I of course mean where you are, home, our universe, like the name of the show. See, one thing we've discovered in Infinite City is that there are lots of, quote, universes, and frankly, ours is one of the weird ones. I mean, weird starts to lose meaning in a place where all possibilities merge, but still, your universe is weird. For example... Puppets are good, kind beings in our universe. Primarily. I mean, of course, there are naughty puppets, but by and large, they're beings of goodness. Quite the opposite is true in most universes. Ours is the weird one there. 
and so along with maybe letting our friends know we're okay or whatever. Since we haven't had contact with our home universe for who knows how many atomic cycles and who knows how long an atomic cycle represents anyway. We also thought we'd use this show to try to explore for any human viewers we might actually be reaching, sort of explore what it's like to live in a trans-dimensional hub with access to all dimensions and universes. Yeah, I think we said that. Well, it's, it's good to reinforce the concept. That's all. It's all a bit weird. But while it's definitely overwhelming and confusing at first, it's actually pretty great. I've come to take on a saying I saw in one of the human areas here. Just because you don't understand it doesn't mean it's not for you. You can always reconstitute in the shower if you go too hard somewhere. That's my motto lately. But anyway, now we have to go to another set of commercials. What is the spiritualist here for? What exactly is the nature of their otherworldly powers and mystical forbidden knowledge? Can anyone even truly fathom the ectoplasmic abominations the spiritualist brings into being before our eyes? Will any of us be the same after seeing these things? 19th century spiritualist action figure playset. Ectoplasm summoning kit sold separately. By Hellbro. Kevin. Kevin. Let me in Kevin. You need to invite me in the house. Kevin. Kevin, come to the door, Kevin. I can hear you in there. Come on, Kevin, let me in. Come to the door. Please. Please. Let me in, Kevin. This cycle on human cooking. I'm cooking for humans. Sorry, this cycle on cooking human. Oneself know it is a commendation. It's a wonderful dish. But do it a little differently. Add a dash of the familiar. The whole brood will be excited for this one. Humans really enjoy green things. When cooking for humans, try anything subtoxic. Oneself cannot beat that sizzle. Oneself serves many other. Cooking for humans. Afraid of trying Angel's Glee Indoor Foam Matrix because of its hyperbuoyant luminons? Join us, then, in the Indorphosphere where angels flee, to try our fully non-buoyant luminonomy. Your nervous system will never be the same again, in a good way. Dance to the music of the void as it watches itself. The, the void dance within, within the void. Come, Come to where, where nothing is, is happening. happening. Behold with your very own eyes as, as the void strips, strips everything, everything away. away. Absolutely everything is discernible. Literally, Literally nothing, nothing at all remains at, at the, void. the void. Access points to the void viewing club can be found in infinite cities, red or green districts. Come discover just how covered up everything else you've been saying has been. This cycle on Cave Punked. Caveman in a hot tub and the caveman apotheosis. This cycle on What Am I For? The Automaton Identification Roadshow. Does it look like I know what I am? Come on. Okay, now this is actually a very dangerous thing called a mecha homunculus. You're gonna want to store this in oil, or you're gonna have problems down the line. Citizens of Infinite City, be aware. This is a public service announcement from the Wellness and Safety Bureau, with information on dangerous individuals whom you should avoid and inform Wellness and Safety Officers if you see them. The following puppet criminals, wanted for a variety of violent crimes. Mega Mouth, Mr. E. Grin, Jeremiah Begalomatic Jr., Bacon Smells a Lot, Why Me, The Mormon Elevator, and the kitten terrorist duo known only as Harmodios and Aristogaton, The Lizard Killers. Be warned. And we're back. 
You know, I've tried to watch that show, that microbe show, what's it called? I can never make out their attempts at creating human writing. <laughs> you mean the Fomalhaut microbiome? Yeah. Those little things are hilarious. But I'm not sure why. You know, I, I don't get it. I can't get into There's a lot of storylines. Like, probably way too many? Thousands. Perhaps you just need to be at that scale. Yeah, you know, I watched it for a while, but I just kept waking up all itchy. Gross. Anyway, before we lose this segment to time, let's talk a little bit about what it's like to live in Infinite City. So, the cool thing about Infinite City is that it exists outside time. Or perhaps like above time or something. I mean, I'm not a physicist. But so it seems like we're not really aging, per se, while I mean, we're we've here. We've only been here for what feels like a few weeks. Would we even know? I was aging pretty fast back in our universe. I could feel it. Fair. But here, it's like we're just in, like, windless space, time-wise. It's hard to describe. Like a nirvana on Fast Forward. I guess. A bit quiet in a non-auditory way. But that's made up for by the bustle of the infinite fascinating people and things to and do. that's perhaps a good time to point out a language thing we've gotten used to here. We use the word people to refer to any sort of entity with a semblance of sentience. Not just humans or even humanoids. We learned that fast. There are corners of this place made for humans, but humans are definitely not the norm. Yeah, we're definitely kind of an oddity most places we go here. But that's kind of fun. Like the show says, your universe is weird. So to those of us from our universe who are watching, your universe is weird. And there's not anything wrong with that. But we're in Infinite City, where our universes and times merge, and we've seen a lot, and just let us confirm. Your universe is weird. But so keep tuning in with us to explore more about what's weird to you, which is perfectly normal to most transdimensional beings. With us here in Infinite City on our show, this show, Your Universe, your universe is, weird. is Weird. Brought to you by Void Tacos. Content for humans. Content for humans. Content for humans. Content for humans. Your universe is weird. Written and produced by Man Like Machines. With imagery by the Mid Journey AI.